Hello everybody, so this is another one of these Chinese particle board desk assembly guides. Uh, you know, it comes with all the fasteners in the bags, and the bags are actually labeled with uh, different numbers, which is nice. And each of the boards are labeled with a sticker, an alpha, a letter sticker, A, B, C, D, E, which makes it nice. If, you, you know, if you don't have the stickers on the board, it's going to be a little bit harder. Now the fasteners are pretty easy to identify. There's two main types, which is this kind here, um, and that is a cam lock fastener. And we're gonna put that cam lock in the A board. A is an apple. Now each of the cam locks have a indicator, like a little hole that faces uh, the direction it needs to go into. If you don't align the cam lock hole properly, it's not going to work when you stick the cam bolt in there, fastening the two boards. So this here is the cam bolt. And you can see I'm putting this in the A board. Now, uh, the A board has uh, two cam bolts on the same side as two cam locks and then four cam bolts on the opposite side so make sure you put the all six cam bolts in two in the one side four in the other <clears throat> and then um, and then move on to uh, the next part uh, which is the eye boards. Now there's two eye boards, uh, so you're going to want to put the four um, cam fasteners or locks, cam locks, uh, on the unfinished part of the eye board. Now do both eye boards. You'll see I forgot to do one of the eye boards and had to do it later on in uh, the assembly. Now, I apologize in advance if uh, I drew this out a little bit long, uh, but I pretty much put the entire assembly in here, uh, you know, just so we didn't miss anything. If you want, just fast forward. You know, you get the iBoard assembly done, just fast forward a little bit. And you can see I use a screwdriver to adjust the cam locks so they're oriented towards the hole where the cam bolt will end up going in. Uh, so you must have these cam locks oriented correctly or it will not work when you try to put one board onto a, a, another board that has a cam bolt. Uh, and they have this teeny weeny little indicator. So anyway, after you're done with the eye boards, we move along then uh, to the long thin J boards. and. The J boards have three cam bolts, each one, and they each have a cam lock uh, on the end of the J board. The cam bolts, uh, you know, fasten them down securely. Uh, once they are down all the way, uh, don't like use your superpowers uh, and and strip it. I mean, just crank it down, and when it's tight, it's done. If you go to town on it, like just pushing and cranking, it it could strip, uh, and then you uh, you know obviously make a mess of that particular fastening point. So. You know, it, it takes a pretty good twisting to strip it, but it's doable if you're super strong and super D-U-M-B. So, uh, you know, just tighten it down. How, how does Superman build these things? Like, I mean, can he just change his strength to, like, normal human strength so he doesn't accidentally strip this stuff? I don't know. Anyway, so now we're going to move on to the big board, the G board. Uh, we're going to be doing all of our work on the unfinished side of the G board, or the big board. This is the main desk. We're going to need a whole mess of, uh, well, we need eight 
uh, cam bolts. Uh, so here I am counting them out, and I will end up screwing the eight cam bolts into the G board. And unfortunately, I will be videotaping all eight bolts. Yes. This is when I should be fast forwarding. <laughs> Instead of sitting here. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm using a blender for editing and and it's easy to cut stuff, but uh, fast forwarding is uh, it's a little bit trickier and I always forget how to do it. And I don't feel like watching the tuto a tutorial on how to speed up and uh, a clip. So we're going to have to suffer through screwing in all eight bolts. Actually, I have to suffer through it. You can just simply click on the YouTube video to fast forward and or shut me up too with the volume button. Almost done. Yay! Come on, two more bolts. Let's go. Is that what's making that noise? <laughs> I thought there was static. It was my hair hitting something there. Okay, so yeah, we got that done. Now we're going to be putting the the brackets on, um, and to put these brackets on, we're going to need uh, the small wood screws, the short wood screws from the bag number six, and. Um, well, these are the, you know, there's two types of wood screws in this assembly, and one of them is long and one of them is short. These are the short ones. So you put the brackets on, but don't crank them down. Put the four uh, wood screws in and tighten them down a little bit, but leave the brackets a little bit flexible uh, for when you're going to uh, attach uh, the other board to the G board. It'll be the H board, uh, but you're not doing that right now. So... And I am going to go through this. Like, right now it would be super fast. would be a good idea. I guess I could talk about politics while I'm screwing these brackets in. No, I don't think I will. I don't suspect you guys care about my politics. I could leave super secret messages to my son. Only he would be listening to this maybe in 20 or 30 years because it's only one listen now. All right, almost done. <clears throat> Uh, the brackets so after we're done with this fourth bolt or wood screw uh, we're going to be getting the e-board and it's only going to have two uh, cam locks on the e-board so let's get this fourth bolt in or screw wood screw in and good Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, oh no, that's right, remember I told you I forgot to do both eye boards, yep, so if you forgot to do both eye boards, now do the second board, because you're going to need these eye boards soon, and I'm making my audience listen sit through me goofing around with the eye board again. Even I'm falling asleep. Mm. 
Well, at least I was thorough. It's good practice. I get to put together other stuff. Oop, wait a minute. What's this, a break? I have no idea what this is. Uh, oh, all right, there we go. All right, now, come on. Quit goofing around. The E-board is next. And it has two cam locks on the E-board. And uh, it's pretty simple. So then we're going to be going to the C and the B board after we're done with the E board. And these two are, um, the C and the B board end up being a, uh, a corner piece, a corner leg piece, and they fasten the privacy board. So these are going to each have three uh, cam locks. Well, actually, the B board is going to have three cam locks on one side and two cam locks on another side, while the C board has three cam bolts on one side and two cam locks on another side. So that's why there's a difference. And what's going to happen here is we're going to put the C and the B boards together with the three cam bolts uh, from C going into the three cam locks of B. And I missed the clip somehow when I was editing. Probably I got distracted by creatures crawling around uh, of putting these two together. But I, I did put the fasteners in. And then again on the C board, the three cam bolts will slide into the three cam locks of the B board. <clears throat> Although I'm still goofing around with the, putting the fasteners in there. Maybe I did get it. I, I, I don't think I got the um, putting the two boards together. I mean, you'll see them when they're done. Once you attach them, these two together will go on to the big G board. You know, it's a leg. It's the corner leg piece. It's actually a, a support. And so they make like a uh, L shape <clears throat> and and create uh, a considerable amount of support. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I was going to put it put them together. I don't know what I did. I, I must have accidentally misplaced that clip when I put the two together or got distracted. I don't know. Very tricky doing stuff by being molested by doggies. Alright. So I'm still messing around with these fasteners, I guess. I, I haven't put them together yet. I don't know why I'm... Anyway, I think I forgot to put the clip in. So, um, still doing the fasteners on B and C. Don't forget, the three cam bolts on C will slide into the three cam locks of B. Oh, my. This took forever. Okay. So... <laughs> now I just jumped to the next section. I, yeah, I did miss the part where I put B and C together. <clears throat> but anyway, so now what we do is get the two I pieces, and we're going to put them on the A board. The A board has four bolts sticking up, and then we put I, the I, on the two uh, bolts that are sticking up, and then we lock them down like this. And we get the other I board. There it is. And make sure the unfinished parts are facing in the direction you see, and then lock them down. You see how uh, the unfinished part is facing the short end of the A board. Okay, so once you lock that down, you're going to go get the J uh, long boards. They're kind of lengthy boards. Well, I'm, 
and then you're going to fasten uh, them to the eye boards as I'm showing you uh, here. And do it on each side. Make sure you tighten them or tighten the lock, uh, the cam lock good. All right, here's the other one. And uh, let's lock that down. Okay, so once we're done locking this down, we'll have that assembly we'll call, you know, the I board, A board assembly. <clears throat> we're going to pick that up and we're going to be fastening this assembly to the G board. Uh, this is not a real easy thing. Just be patient. On the rounded side of the G board, there's four um, bolts that are uh, sticking up and those bolts will fit into the cam locks on the bottom of the A board and the bottom of the J boards. So you slide them onto the cam bolts and then tighten or lock the cam locks. And make sure you orient it uh, just you know, the rounded part of the I boards will go with the rounded part of the G board. And then you lock them down just like I'm showing you there. <clears throat> Don't get frustrated. Now, this part's probably the hardest part because uh, it's not really easy to align these but if you're patient it'll go in uh, if you're you're having trouble with it just set it down and take a rest and then try it again and you'll be just fine now you see those two protruding cam bolts sitting there uh, from the uh, back of the A board uh, and we're going to be getting the E board next Uh, which is going to slide in to those two protruding cam bolts from the back of the A board there. You'll see it slides right in there. There's no other fasteners, just those two. And just wiggle it, make sure you you know you put it in. As long as your cam locks are oriented correctly, it should go in without too much difficulty. Uh, and then lock them into place, as I'm going to show or show you there. It seems a little flimsy, but worry not. Um, there'll be other stuff uh, soon. Now remember the B and the C board that I did not show you how to put together. <laughs> uh, here they are. Uh, so the C board is actually going to uh, go up against the E board but the B and the C the bottoms are the, there's cam locks there that are going to slide onto some cam bolts in the bottom of the G uh, board so you slide the B and the C onto the cam bolts on the on the G board and once you do that you're going to lock them down <clears throat> those four uh, cam Locks will lock uh, to the you know the bottom of the G uh, board, just like I'm doing here. Now the C board is up against the E board. You see right there, but there's a gap and it looks real flimsy. And you're like, what is that gap? Well, this is when you're going to break out the long wood screws in bag number four. And there's actually little guides there just make sure it's centered it'll probably match it quite well um, and put the the number four screw the long wood screw in the bag number four in the hole try to get it in the guide as best you can but make sure it's centered 
and then screw it in. It tightens real good. Do the top part first because that's you, that's probably got the biggest gap. Now look, be careful that you put this in the center of the e-board. If you do it off to the side, if it's if it's off center a little bit, if the screw is going to kind of come out the side and it's going to look like crap. It's probably not going to fasten very well. So just make sure it goes into the center of the e-board. It's easy to make sure. Uh, especially because there's a guide in there, but you know, eyeball it. Tighten those down good, but don't rape the uh, board. Don't, don't uh, you know, tear it apart. It is a particle board, <clears throat> so just take it easy. All right. So next, once we're done looking at how nicely this all fastened together, it's much more secure. You know, everybody's all happy. It's flush there. It's centered, everything's good. We get the H board. Now this H board is the other part of the desk. Uh, it goes up against the G board with those brackets that we did before. So um, make sure you you know align this properly because uh, if it's off, you know the desk won't be flush and it's going to look screwy. So just slide it on there. Make sure it's it's flush on the side there. And then put the screws in. There's guides uh, in there. So just sort of semi-tighten them and make sure it's flush because everything's loose. Even though you kind of tightened it. Remember, we didn't crank it down before. So uh, just, you know, once it's flush and it's perfect, then crank the screws down. Again, don't use your superpowers on it and strip the things. Uh, you know, crank them down good, uh, but don't break them. Uh, now, there's two cam bolts on the opposite end uh, once we're done tightening these down. But on the opposite end of the H board is going to be uh, two cam bolts that you're going to want to put in there in preparation uh, for the uh, that side to be worked on so uh, once we're done tightening these brackets and you can tighten those up pretty good now uh, as long as everything's aligned you'll go over to uh, the other side of H and put the cam bolts in and uh, we're going to be working on the D and the F boards next. And these two are going to actually join up uh, the D and, and I'm still on this H board. So I'm going to just not get ahead of myself while this thing's going. Oh, what am I doing? I am looking at how beautiful that lined up. Actually, I'm just checking to make sure. Yeah, I'm checking to make sure that it's a all perfectly lined up and flush because I mean that's the desktop right there so you want to make sure of that let's finish putting these cam bolts in almost done and uh, and then we'll get to work on the D and the F boards <clears throat> well, the D and the F board are going to be uh, the assembly that goes on the end. All right, so here we are with the D and the F board. Um, so the D board is going to have two cam locks and three cam bolts in the D board. The F board is just going to have three cam locks. <coughs> now... So those three cam bolts that are in the D-board are going to end up sliding into the three cam locks of the F-board. So, you know, make sure you orient the F-board cam locks properly for when you're going to be sliding the D-board into the F-board uh, cam locks. All right now I'm doing the bolts on the D board. See the three bolts and oh alright so here's the F board and you can see the little holes where the 
the cam locks go. I still got some of that styrofoam on there. And put the cam locks in and you got to orient to this properly. Almost there, and then we're going to put these two together. The D and the F. Slide the cam bolts from D. I would put D on the ground with the cam bolts facing up. <clears throat> and then put the F board uh, with the cam locks on top. There we go. I'm going to put... Oh, I tried to do it. Did I try to do it standing up here? Yeah. Let's see. Did I do? Did I actually do it this way? No. Am I gonna give up? Let's see. No. I'm gonna give up. Am I gonna do it this way? This isn't gonna work. No. I gave up. There we go. Okay. So just do it the right way first. <laughs> Lay. Lay the D board down and then put the F board on top of it and then crank it down. <laughs> Genius. So then uh, lock uh, the cam locks on the F board there. So the D and F are, are, uh, are locked into place. So Now after we're done locking these down, we're going to take the F D board assembly and we're going to be attaching it. Uh, to the H board I don't want to get ahead here while I'm still locking it but if you recall on the end of the H board we put two bolts two cam bolts so the D board is going to slide uh, onto the two cam bolts on the end of the H and then the F board is going to uh, join up with the C board. I'm sorry, the B board. So we're going to lock down the D board where it has the cam locks and the H board where the bolts go in. We lock those down. Now we go over there after we're done locking these down. I'm still doing it. Um, but what's interesting is the F board, uh, where it meets up with the B board, is uh, just like um, the you know the other side. It's sort of flimsy, but we get those two long wood screws uh, from the bag number four, and we're going to put those in there to fasten the B board to the F board. And again, make sure that these wood screws are centered on the F board. There's uh, little guides in there, but if you don't find it, just make sure it's centered. Don't put it off to the side. That screw will, you know, be sticking out and look awful, and yada yada. Once you get it centered properly and fasten it down, it should be quite secure and look quite good. And that pretty much should be the whole thing. I mean, you got the the wire circle plastic thing you put in and the little plastic covers over the cam locks uh, but this is it right here once you get that into place uh, you've could finished building it you're going to probably need somebody to help you turn it over um, and there it is completed congratulations you built a lego puzzle desk or whatever it is I hope it helped.